Hey there all you Habs fans and welcome to Talking Habs with Rick. In this video I will be reviewing tonight's game between the Montreal Canadiens and the Detroit Red Wings in Detroit. First off, a shout out to Patch83 and VGK, uh, sorry, coverage. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, thank you guys and everyone. Please check them out. Uh, they're doing a good job covering hockey. Uh, I, I hope like me, uh, they're not, uh, I'm, I'm newer to it than, than they are. Uh, okay, so let's start. Weber started the game wearing a cage to protect his face, but he took it off midway through the first period, apparently having trouble seeing, he wasn't feeling comfortable with it, so he took it off. Um, he was also playing on the left side, usually I think he plays on the right, I'm not sure why he was playing on the left. Um, maybe it had something to do with the cage and his vision. Uh, so the pace started out faster than the uh, last two games early on. Um, no one out playing the other, just a good fast pace. <clears throat> the Habs weren't as tight uh, defensively as I would have liked to see. And there was some good sharp play uh, in the wing zone at eight minutes with some good passing by the Habs. So there was a penalty at 9.33 to Jacob De La Rose for holding. It was a Montreal power play, but it was killed off. Domi and Drew were still not playing cohesively, uh, not really supporting each other. Like they were on different opposite ends of the, or not uh, sides of the ice, and too far from each other to make any kind of a play. Uh, so that's not good. And I, I have a feeling they're going to just be um, maybe on against St. Louis the next game. They're not going to be on the same line. Uh, that's what I would think is going to happen. Uh, so there was a penalty at 13.30 to Deneau for high sticking. The Wings get a power play. Only six shots by the Habs to this point. Kind of disappointing. I would have thought, um, I just would have thought that they w were going to have a better offensive showing against Detroit, but Detroit uh, played well against them. So Habs killed that power play. Another penalty at 16.49.39 to Cronwall for hooking. So the Montreal power play, they're playing better on that on this power play. Um, but Detroit still kills it off. So uh, it was a disappointing first period as the Habs didn't take advantage of their opportunities. There were no goals. Um, they had chances. Uh, I just thought the way Detroit's been playing that, uh, that they would do better. But, you know, with parity in the league, any night, any team can beat any other team. <clears throat> Um, so they didn't take advantage of their opportunities, and they only really turned it on at the end uh, of the game of the period during that last power play, and then beyond. But it was like with three minutes to go. So I'm looking for more finish and more consistent hustle in the second period. Shots on goal: Montreal eight, Detroit nine. Power play: Montreal 0 for two, Detroit 0 for one. Second period: The Habs start the period with a bang. At 30 seconds, Gallagher gets his 16th from Tatar and Deneau. Habs getting hot. A minute and six later, Armia from, uh, I guess his fourth from Domi. Despite the two quick goals, Detroit not giving up. Still, still getting good chances. Gallagher and Tatar have a nice give and go with a good chance. I didn't mark down the time. Um, Detroit was keeping it in the Habs zone for a while there, and eventually it resulted in a goal at 6.39 from Athanasiu. Oh, I can't pronounce his name. Athanasiu? Athanasiu. I, I had it before I can't, sorry. Uh, his 16th from Glenn Denning. Fourth line, uh, fourth line chips in for the Habs with a chance uh, from Agostino to Kulak at 8.45. Uh, there was good back and forth play, both teams getting chances. Detroit taking charge here a bit, coming in hard to the Montreal zone. <clears throat> Weber takes a penalty for interference at 12.03. The Habs kill it off, uh, though good spirited play by Detroit. Uh, some, um, some nice work to create a couple of turnovers by the fourth line again, Agostino and Hudon. Penalty to Kokaniemi for hooking at 1801, but it was mostly uninspired uh, power play by Detroit with just one shot and really nothing exciting. 
So shots on goal in the second, Montreal 10, Detroit 12. No power plays for Montreal. Detroit went 0 for 2. In the third, start of the third with another quick goal, 19 seconds in. Petrie gets his ninth from Tatar. And that seemed to take the air out of the, out of the Red Wings at that point. But then there was a bad penalty by uh, Domi in the offensive zone at 4.10 for holding. And then 58, uh, 48 seconds later, Athanasiu, nothing better, gets his 17th on the power play from Mantha and Nyquist. So the Habs need to tighten it up here as Detroit's finding their legs a bit. Play picks up uh, pace a bit at the 7.30 mark. Good chances by both teams here. Bad tripping penalty call. Call, not the penalty. Bad tripping penalty call on Tatar at 10.09 on a bit of a dive by Larkin. Good power play by the, by the wings, but it was killed off by Montreal. And then it was good back and forth play by both teams. And up until the wings pull uh, Howard with a minute to go and put good pressure to score. But to no avail, Habs win 3-2. to two. And they move back into a wild card spot because New York Islanders lost. So that's good news. So this was a better effort overall by Montreal. And kudos to Houdon, who hasn't played for a while, and he had a, he had a good game on the fourth line. Uh, so I hope, I hope we'll see Montreal keep this up in St. Louis and come out with, uh, with good energy and jump on the puck. Their defensive play still needs to start improving and look for Price in the net against the Blues. So let's take a quick look at the board. So the Habs improved to 23-16-5, and, um, and the Wings dropped to 16-22-7. The Habs were 0-2 uh, uh, on the power play, with the Wings going 1-4 for 4 on the power play. No scoring in the first. Gallagher gets his 16th. Uh, from Tatar and Deneau in the second. I forgot to write the times down for the goals. Anyways, I said them all in here. Armia gets his fourth from Domi and Ben. At- Athanisiu gets his 16th from Glenn Denning. In the third, Petrie gets his ninth from Tatar. Athanasiu gets his 17th from Mantha and Bertuzzi. And that ends the scoring. So Niemi faced... 9, 12, and 11 shots for a total of 32. And he went 30, out of, he stopped 30 of 32. Howard faced 8, 10, and 7 for a total of 25. And he stopped 22 of 25. And that covers that. Next game is Thursday. Habs at St. Louis Blues. 8 p.m. start Eastern Standard Time. So there you have it. Please like and subscribe. And let me know what you thought about the game in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time on Thursday right here at Talking Habs with Rick. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great night.